us off the road due to being a total fucking idiot. Turbo's got his first load for the season and he is feeling good about it. But just as quick as Turbo can get back into it, it all starts going wrong. His central tyre inflation system starts beeping at him. Lucky for Turbo, it's just a false alarm. And like everything on this pathetic show, it's as simple as turning the taps on and it's problem solved. There's an old saying in trucking, and that's if the wheels ain't turning, you ain't making money. And as you can see, the wheels ain't turning. The only thing Turbo's making is an absolute pig of himself on national television. And only moments into the trip, Turbo notices a problem. His trailer's got no trailer lights, and he is stuck going nowhere. Out here, in the middle of fucking nowhere, this is serious territory, and if he doesn't get this going soon, it'll kill someone. Yeah, nah, looks like we found a problem here. Your fucking cameraman unplugged it, trying to uh, create some drama for your show. But anyway, plug that cunt back in. Good to go. Turbo has just noticed something seriously wrong with his truck and he's cacking his dax. He thinks he's going to share off an axle or something. Let's go check out what the problem is. Uh, now, if we look here, you see I've got a loose axle stud. There's no way I'm making it dark and minder with this load on. I'm fucked. Realising that it was just a reality TV beat up, Turbo decides to do what every other trucker on the planet would do and just keeps driving. Much like Turbo's career, conditions are deteriorating. Overnight there was some rain and conditions are starting to get slippery. If Turbo wants to make it out of here in one piece, he's gonna have to be on his game, otherwise it'll be game over. As he gets back out on the open highway, and things are looking up, the fuckwit of the top end receives a phone call. And much like all the freight he cuts, the news is damaging. Yeah, that was last year. Look, it's been tough. You fuckwit sit down there in your ivory towers in Melbourne with your heads. Oh well, you want to repo me truck? Come and fucking get it. I'm a moving target. Good luck with that. During a routine check, Turbo notices a serious issue that brings the whole operation to a standstill. He's gone and managed to get a bundi stuck in his jewels. Travelling down the road at speed, this thing could come out like a torpedo, travelling at hundreds of kilometres an hour, probably into a school bus full of children, killing the lot of them. And another hold-up has been added to Turbo's day. What appears to be a learner driver really taking his time to get up this hill. The turbo has just about had a guts full. Oh, these cunts come out here, they want to fucking drive trucks. They don't want to learn how to do it properly. Yeah, their fucking brains fall out the ass as soon as they get out of bed in the morning. On closer inspection, Turbo spots what the problem is and it leaves him speechless. Every day you got to deal with turkeys out here. Fucking sick of it. With all the drama that's been thrown Turbo's way, he managed to get the load off. And now, all he has to do is fuel up. But seeing as Turbo can't do one simple task without it going wrong, this happens. Fucking typical. And yet again, Turbo is stuck going nowhere fast. The best thing he can do is grab that chain, hang it from the rafters, and end it all right now. Next week on Outback Truckers, Peter Turbo Titoff makes an absolute tool of himself yet again, and not only brings his own reputation into disrepute, but that of the transport industry as a whole. So tune in next week and see how sore his back can get, how many people he can piss off, and how much damage he can do.